Welcome back to another video. So I wanted to give my thoughts real quick on a tweet that was posted by one of the biggest content creators in the finance space on YouTube. His name is the plane right here. I think his name is Richard. I think that's his real name. But either way, uh, this guy's name is the plane bagel. He makes really good content on YouTube. I like his content a lot. As you can see, I'm subscribed. And this is the tweet that he posted. He said, what are people's thoughts on online finance courses sold by creators? No, I'm not looking to launch my own as I have my own views on it, but I'm curious what the general sentiment around it is. I want to give my opinion on this because um, that I would say that courses is probably the number one way that most finance YouTubers make their money. That That's the number one business model. And I can tell you guys right now, um, courses are making these YouTubers in the finance space more money than ad revenue. Uh, in some cases, probably even more money to sponsorships. You know, when I think about it, I think of somebody like a me, Kevin, who charges like 800 to a thousand bucks, probably more than that by now. Um, I know when he did the whole shadowing thing for his private jet or whatever, he was charging like 5,000, 6,000, 7,000, something insane for that. And then he's got like all these courses that he sells and folks, you know, so many people bought his courses that this guy was able to buy a private jet. That's how, that's how rich these people made him. And that is the power of selling courses if you can sucker people into buying them. So my overall thoughts on it, and I'm sure most people would agree with me on this. Uh, he says, what are people's thoughts on online finance courses sold by creators? I think that many of them are absolute trash and should not even be allowed. I'm going to take it a step further. Not only are they trash. But I think that they should not even be allowed. I'm not joking when I say this. And I know some of you guys are probably not going to like that. Oh, Echoes, it's a free market. You, the government shouldn't regulate and tell people, you know, you can't, you can't sell a course. If people want to sell a course, they can sell a course. I disagree. If you want to sell a course on anything you want to sell a course on, that's fine. But when it comes to finance and you don't have any sort of financial background or degree and you're selling a course that basically screws people over, I absolutely think that the government should step in. Why shouldn't they? Why should they just allow you to scam your audience with a bunch of BS courses you created from a few hours of Googling? Because that's all these people's courses are. They did a few hours of Googling. They went on Investopedia or whatever. And what's happening is these guys are charging hundreds of dollars for courses that they Googled up on Google. But the problem with finance is when it comes to the basic stuff, you could Google that. But when it comes to the com more complicated stuff, like options or things like that, which some of these people have courses on, the problem is you are telling people the wrong thing because you don't know what the heck you're talking about. So my, my overall thing with that is uh, online courses overall are not good. The only way that I would consider an online finance course good is if it's somebody who a has a legit financial background or b actually has results that they can show and prove and verify that they are actually successful in this for example if somebody wants to teach options and they don't have a fat finance background but they have the results that show that they made tens of thousands of dollars and it wasn't luck because again that's the other thing if somebody shows that they made money, but it's just pure luck, like, oh, I bought Tesla in a 10X, that, that, that's not, no. Did you buy several different stocks that went up? And do you have an actual process that we could verify and see that you know what you're talking about? To me, that would be the only way that a finance course would even be good. But even beyond that, I just need you guys to understand something. The biggest issue that I think all of you should pay attention to when it comes to finance courses is you guys need to understand one very simple thing when it comes to financial courses. These guys on YouTube are not selling you financial courses because they want to help you or help you trade or help you make money or help you become a better investor. They're not doing it for any of those reasons. They are simply doing it because that is one of the biggest revenue streams on YouTube. That is a business decision. Selling courses is a business decision. They are doing it so they can get extra revenue besides the little bitty ad revenue we get. Because when you compare the ad revenue you get on YouTube to some of the other income streams like courses and sponsorships, you get way more money from doing that stuff than you do from your ad revenue. If I could just sell one course for $300, that would be the equivalent of the ad revenue that a lot of these guys are getting for like five videos. Like it would take them five 
hard working, you know, well, good quality videos to get to that same amount of money that they could get by just selling one course. And that's the key thing that I think you guys need to understand. And that's the other big reason why I'm not a fan of selling courses. I've actually had private calls with YouTubers who have a way bigger following than me. And every time I talk to them, they all say the same thing. What's your monetization strategy? How are you going to monetize? What are you going to do besides ad revenue? Because ad revenue is not going to pay you much. You need to figure that out before you figure out how you're going to grow on YouTube. And every time I tell them I'm not interested in selling courses, they're like, okay, well, you kind of got to figure something else out. But they all tell me the same thing. They're like selling courses is one of the, or having a Patreon. Those are like the two biggest ways to make money. And they all pretty much suggest that that is something that you do. For me personally, you guys know why I don't have a course because I'm not a hypocrite. I mean, I don't have a finance background. Like no matter how decent my investing portfolio is, which funny enough, my investments are actually pretty good. Like I'm like, I've done pretty well over the last few years, but that doesn't necessarily mean that I'm qualified to sell a course. And I think that's the ultimate thing that people need to understand is what is the motive behind a lot of these people who sell their courses? A lot of these people who are selling courses have a motive and it is to make money. It is a financial benefit strictly. It's not, let me make money and also teach people how to make money. No, it's none of that because half of these people are so unbelievably unqualified. I mean, if you just look at half these guys' videos, I mean, I could just list them off. Jeremy, me, Kevin, Larry Jones, uh, Zip Trader, all these crazy people have courses. You watch a few of their videos. They're all saying things wrong not understanding certain things when it comes to finance. They're just constantly making simple mistakes that somebody with an actual finance background um, wouldn't make. And so that's ultimately why I don't think that these people, you know, why I don't think you should even endorse selling courses. And I really do think that YouTube should crack down on that or Patreon. I don't know. Whatever platform these people are using to sell these stupid courses, I really wish that they would crack down on that. But we know that they're not. Why? Because... When you sell these courses on these platforms, typically these platforms make money too. So, you know, because Patreon and YouTube, you know, they all take a cut of whatever. So if you're a YouTuber and you're doing terrible things and you're scamming and you're lying and you're grifting, doesn't really matter to YouTube because at the end of the day, YouTube's making money from you. And well, Uncle Sam, you know, the law's not coming down. So, well, no big deal. Nobody's really saying anything. Everybody's just free to scam people, which is one of the biggest issues I have with the United States. Is that that's the like one of the biggest cons of living in the U.S. If you really think about it, living in the U.S. is like one giant scam. It really is. Like, there's so many different industries in the U.S. that are complete scams. Even down to like the very food that we eat. Like, the food that we eat literally like kills us. Like, literally. Like, you can legit look this up. Half the stuff that we're eating isn't even real food, and it's banned in other countries. But the bottom line is, I could go on and on. America has a culture, unfortunately a quiet culture. They don't say it out loud, but it's happening every day. America has a culture of just rampant scams that are allowed to take place. You have a bunch of grifters, scammers, financial liars who consistently take advantage of people who are too ignorant and don't know any better about something. That is why, in my opinion, lack of knowledge is one of the biggest things that can hold you back in life. Because when you have lack of knowledge of something, you allow somebody to be able to come in and trick you. It, it really goes back to this whole thing where I may not be a doctor, but if I read a bunch of medical books or I do more studying of the subject than you do, I'll appear like I'm a genius, even though I'm not. But the only reason why I appear like I'm a genius in that field is because you don't know anything about it because you've never read anything or studied about it. That is exactly what's happening in finance. People who know nothing about finance do not go and read a book or study or even try to learn, take a free course, something. They don't do that. They immediately jump on YouTube. They find somebody who knows the very basics. Oh, they know what options are. Oh, they, they know what a chart is. They know when the stock market closes. They know what a stock is. They know the very basic stuff. And so those people get wowed by their charisma and they think that they're geniuses when in reality, those guys are just as dumb as you. They just know a tiny bit more. That's the reality we got here. So anyway, that's my opinion on that. Let me know what you think in the comments. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.